Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I'm going to do um, a video here. Uh, I have a haul. First time I've ever done a haul video. I had um, I had to see my doctor today, so it's first time I went into the city. Um, it's like an hour and a half drive for me, so um, whenever I go to the doctors uh, for like my big doctor is when I can get to the city to go to my craft stores and it's an okay haul I guess whatever I mean I didn't get what I really needed but whatever my Michaels is really small so um, yeah we <laughs> we don't have much of anything there the first thing I got to bring up and as my husband said he's like yeah you're gonna be complaining about this for the next four days because I'm a little bit in shock still um, one of my appointments was with the sports the sports medicine doctors and I know some of you know I do um, I like to run um, so I, I, I run um, six miles and then three miles I do every other day type thing and I have shin splints and I also started getting really bad burning on the side of my calf um, and I decided after a year of trying out different kinds of tennis shoes, different techniques, different strengthening things, it was not going away. So he did all sorts of x-rays and stuff. And I'm still in a little bit of shock here of what he wants me to do next week. And I just feel like I have to share just because this is so crazy. Um, <laughs> he wants to do something called compartment testing. If any of you have ever heard of this or had it done, please send me an email. I'm curious about this. I'm scared to death. Um, he was honest and said it's not a very pleasant procedure, but basically what they have to do is check the pressure in my muscle in my side calf when I'm running. I'm going to tell you right now what it feels like is the muscle gets like rock hard and it feels like it's on fire. Like you put a hot iron on it. It just burns and burns and burns. And as soon as you stop running, the burning goes away, but the muscle is still hard as a rock. And so what he wants to do is I have to run for 20 minutes and he wants to then inject a two inch long needle inside of my muscle, two inch long needle in my muscle and make me run for 20 minutes with that in there to check the pressure in my muscles. So I don't know. I'm a little scared. That <laughs> sounds super painful. I don't know. I'm doing it next week. I'm scared to death. If anybody has ever had this done, tell me it doesn't hurt because <laughs> I'm scared. And the nurses all said, yeah, it's not pleasant. And it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just in shock. So I had to share this because apparently if I don't have the right kind of pressure in there, he said it was like a bratwurst or something where you're, the the muscle fills with blood but then it does it just doesn't expand so they have to go in and surgically cut it um which that actually honestly sounds better than seeing a needle in my muscle while i'm running i don't know so and it's supposed to help with the shin splints too again i don't know so i'm done i'm done with that but if you see this weird look on my face i am in shock physical shock because i think my doctor's on drugs because he wants to stick a needle in my sore muscle while I'm running <laughs> and test the pressure. So I'm going to stop talking about that and I'm going to get on this haul. Um, like I said, it's a small haul. It's just, I, I couldn't really, I had to mainly get some, I needed glow glitter because I joined um, Jen's Nail World. Uh, she has a glow, I think it's called Anything Glows um, Group Swap, something like that. I got to really look and see. Um, I know it has to glow. Um, I think the, the theme of it is anything goes, glows, so it has to glow, but you can do what you want. So I will double check on that. So I had to get some glow glitter. Um, and I was almost out of this stuff. So I picked up the big, what is this? 12 ounce size of, this is the white um glitter it's not the iridescent one it's just the regular white i use a lot of that i like the iridescent one too but um i picked that up and then um i got the, the martha stewart glow glitter this is at michael's so this is from from michael's and i need to put my receipts over there so i have them um 
And then, um, let's see. Oh, I grabbed a couple more of these. I wish they had these back when I was doing my Betsy Johnson collection because I didn't, they didn't have these then, but I saw these now. So I just grabbed one of these and one of these. I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I'll stick something in there as a gift or something. Who knows? They were like 60 cents. And then, um, another little pen thingy. So I picked those up. So now I have my glow glitter <laughs> and some more of this I needed that. And then that was all I got at Michael's because honestly I didn't see anything I really liked over there. So I, as far as the glitter selection, it just sucks. So I'll be honest about it. Um, and now for Hobby Lobby, I was able to get a lot more things there. Um, I got these really cute little stickers, the little, um, I don't know if you can see this, the, yeah, Brain gone, still in shock. I told you. Um, these are the ornaments, Christmas ornament stickers. Cute as can be. Um, most of all this stuff is their clearance, so I want to try to get the other stuff first. Um, got some more of this, this spiner glow glitter. I still can't get over five bucks for that little bitty thing. But then you know what? I think this is thirteen. So, glow glitter is not cheap. Holy cow. Um, and then I got some washi tape, and it's coming apart. So, hang on one second. So, I got this set here for Christmas. Um, I thought that was really cute. There's a lot on there, too. And then I had to get this. I've seen this on hauls, and this is the first time I've seen this available, the owls. So... Um, I picked up some of this, and it goes really well with um, uh, these little owls from the Dollar Tree. Oh, my God, these are adorable. So it works perfect with those. And um, I thought I had some. Oh, I picked up some pair of stickers, too. So <laughs> those are cute. So Okay, so those are I got the washi tape and the glow. And then. Um, now this is mostly, like I said, clearance stuff. I got this for a lovely woman that I'm going to do a swap with. Look at that in there. I don't know if you can see. Um, all those different, like this is a notepad. These are different post-its. And they say things like beautiful, patience unfolds with time, let hope bloom, grow in grace. Very, very, very pretty. And... So I picked this up for somebody special. Um, and then um, and over at Hobby Lobby, I told the people there, um, they had a lot of these things. And I saw Rosita haul some of this stuff. And she had the cutest idea about putting our little glitters in here. Um, so I saw these ones at my Hobby Lobby. I saw some of the other ones she picked up at my Hobby Lobby too, but the problem was is they put these sales stickers right on the packaging, so it ruins it. When you go to peel the sticker off, you're destroying the packaging. And I, so I grabbed the ones that didn't have the stickers on here, and I told her, I says, you know, honestly... You have hundreds of these. Nobody's going to buy them with the stickers all over. Like some of them have five stickers on them. Because I said, as soon as you peel those off, you're destroying the package. And she's like, yeah, well, we've been trying to get rid of them. I said, well, you can give them away for free. Nobody's going to want them if you're going to have to destroy the package to get to them. So I think I was, ma I managed to find like six of them with <laughs> no sticker on them. So anyway, I grabbed those. And... The other stuff is basically the invitation things um, where you get, I think there's like, yeah, 10 of these types of things in a bag. And these are super cool for um, when you're doing swaps. Um, like you, They're made to where you can print this stuff on here, but you, they come with blank cards. So... Um, yeah, of course I can't get to them, but anyway, yeah, these cards are all blank, so you get a bunch of these blank cards with the, and then you can tape your mixes to them and stick them in here, and they have, like, the little rhinestones, and they have the envelopes, they are so stinking cute, I love these, so I was able to pick up a set of these and then a set of 
a few other different varieties. So, um, I got the one like this, and like I said, this is pre-printed, but this is blank, so this is cute. I got some of those. I got some, uh, I love this with the animal, and then, um, again, the party, but this is blank. It comes blank, um, same as this, and this, another one. They're all blank, so you can do whatever you want, and they, they're so Cute as a button. Look at this one with the bows and the ribbons. And um, I think that's it as far as um, as far as that goes. So anyway, that's just my small little haul. I got a lot of these because I do a lot of swaps, and I'm gonna do some more um, group swaps in the future. I just there's just so many going on right now. I just I feel like you guys have been flooded with swaps, so I'll probably do one soon. Um, I'm not going to do one too soon, but I do like these for, for my swaps and stuff. So, anyways, I think that is it. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching, everybody. And, um, comment below, like, subscribe, whatever. Um, hope you enjoyed. Bye.